Okay, here we are in Matrix Gold. Uh, in this video, I'm going to showcase uh, two items. Uh, the first one is picture frame, and uh, just uh, it, I'm not sure where it's at in the command line, but if you go up to the search and just type in PIC, P-I-C, and hit, uh, it'll show up over here to your left-hand side, picture frame right here, and we're just going to click on that. I already uh, got a, a item here. We're going to take this chess piece and just open it up. Now you can uh, place it anywhere you want. It doesn't really matter at this point or make it as big. You can always go back and readjust it with your handles here or uh, through uh, transform uh, uh, 3D or uh, 2D or whatever. Uh, so right now I'm just going to take this and uh, I'm going to uh, center it. So I want to go to my transform menu, uh, transform and just put it in the center okay and then hit enter okay now this does not mean that the the item is going to be centered as you can tell it's not it just means that the square picture is going to be centered so if the picture is drawn off to one side or the other so you have to be a little bit careful all right so, and the first thing i'm going to do is right now so i can take this and i can move it right which when if you're going to draw on top of it uh is a pain in the butt sometimes so we're just going to go backwards uh, i'm going to put that back in the center i'm going to take this and put it on a layer that uh, i don't use a whole lot or for special thing and then we want to lock it so put that click on that little lock next to it now when i click on it i can't click on i can't do anything with it it's locked in place uh, so now I can draw on it and make mistakes and I'm not going to move my picture around. So we'll go to the top view and actually, well we won't go to the top view, we're going to go to the right view. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, unclick it, we don't want to unlock, we want to select our picture and we want to rotate it 90 degrees and hit enter. And now we want to lock it. So now from the uh, front view uh, I can see it. Uh, it'll just be easier when I go to do the other things to it later. And as you can see, it's locked. So the first thing I'm going to do is we need to draw this shape, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and just get a circle and kind of eyeball it. I'll leave it on uh, yellow, I guess. Uh, turn off grid snaps for right now. And I'll just eyeball it a little bit and draw that first circle our ball for our pawn, chess pawn. All right, and the next thing we need to do is draw this section here. So we'll go to arc direction and uh, we'll click on just right there where it is in the picture, it's fine. Uh, and we'll hold down shift and take it down to the bottom of that and we'll just hold down shift again and bring it out. So right now we need to do a li little editing. It doesn't come out far enough and we just don't want to drag the curve. So we'll click on that and then grab these points here uh, and just drag them out to the edge. And as you can see it kind of concaves insider thing item there. So we can just select these curves and we can adjust them how you see fit. Uh, I'm not going to waste a lot of time on this part, but we'll just kind of do that there. All right, the next thing we need to do is grab this curve here, right? So we'll go back to arc direction uh, and select it again. And I'm just going to uh, go to the end snap there and drag it down to approximately where that edge is and then drag it in. And we'll do that there. All right, and next thing we need to do is keep on moving down the item on the side. Uh, I'll go to that end snap. Uh, arc direction again and do a little arc direction there. You can manipulate that if you'd like. I'm not going to uh, take your time up. Uh, and then same thing, arc direction, in snap, hold down shift so it comes down and then right about in the middle there, uh, eyeball on it and then hold down shift again to bring it out and do the same thing that we did upstairs there. Uh, drag that out. Uh, Pick this curve here, kind of smooth it out a little bit. Take this curve here, kind of smooth it out a little bit. And we're not going to worry about doing this indentation here, and I'll show you why in a little bit. Uh, what we're going to do, though, is we're going to go ahead and I'm going to select it somewhere around here where it's close to that curve, and then hold uh, click and then hold down Shift to the bottom here, and bring it out. Okay, so this curve it's way too far out, right? So we're going to drag it 
inward a little bit somewhere around there and then I'll just accept that okay so there we go now at this point we uh, really don't need our uh, picture at anymore so I'm just going to go ahead and hide it for right now the next thing I want to do is uh, go ahead and uh, draw a line uh, snapped from here the end snap all the way across and then the last thing I want to do is I want to do a line both sides so I'm going to uh, left or uh, right click on the both side and I'm going to start it at C4 and then I'm just going to draw a splitter item right through the middle. Okay, so now we need to do some uh, work in here, and it, nothing's joined, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to select everything and do some trimming. All right. So first thing we don't need is we don't need that, don't need this. Okay, and we don't need this here. And make sure you get those little pieces out of there. Sometimes you get uh, little pieces there. Uh, you definitely want to get rid of those, uh, so get rid of that, get rid of that, uh, and get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Okay, so there's our item. Check those little corners, because sometimes they like to, and they'll come back to haunt you later. So it's worth taking a little bit of time to look at them. And then we'll, we'll, we'll accept that enter. And now at this point, we're just going to join it, join everything together. And hopefully, uh, seven curves joined into one open curve. So that's exactly what we want. So from here, what we want to do is, uh, I want to get rid of those uh, sharp points there. So we're going to take it and go to clean up, and go to our fillet corners. And I already have it set at a point two, and that's kind of my go-to. So I'm just going to accept that. And we have the little curve there that we skipped over, right? Uh, and everything looks good. So from here, it's real easy. Uh, not sure where Revolve is up there. I think it's in your Surface menu. Uh, there's there's several different Revolves, but uh, I don't see it, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking for it. So I'm just going to type in Revolve, R-E-V, and it should automatically pop up. Now over here, you have several. Rail Revolve, Revolve uh, with an icon for Rail Revolve and Revolve, and Normal Rail Revolve. Revolve uh, Hole, uh, Revolve Sub D or Clay U, uh, and a couple of others. But we're just going to take uh, just regular Revolve, okay? Uh, and we're going to select our curve and hit Enter. And it says Start of Revolve Axis. We want to take that bottom point and click, and then we want to go up uh, End of Revolve Axis. We want to go up here to our top and hit Click. Now at this point, I want to go to my uh, uh, top menu looking down because it just makes it easier. Uh, so I'm going to hold down uh, shift, it's at zero, and just take it and all the way around and then hit enter, okay? Uh, and we'll take this and we'll turn it to green and we'll give it some uh, definition there and we'll look at it in our perspective menu okay so there's our chess piece all right uh, from here what we want to do is we want to take our item and check it's a closed surface so everything's good to go uh, this is all you have to do is transfer this to an STL file and put some uh, uh, oh, what are they <laughs> sprue on it <laughs> and it's good to go to casting for uh, 14 karat gold pawn or <laughs> Uh, you can do whatever, but di you can now do anything you want with it. You can start putting design on it, you can uh, uh, add diamonds, you can add more to it, uh, bullion, anything you want. So uh, that kind of sh showcases the, the Revolve. Uh, I hope you like the video uh, and also the picture frame. Picture frame is very useful for a lot of things, so I would definitely uh, keep that in mind when you're doing your design work. Uh, but Hope you liked the video. If it did, uh, if it helped you out in any way or gave you some new concepts or ideas, so please leave me a like, subscribe, and a comment below. Thank you very much for watching. Good designing.